think Laurel and Hardy, I mean, you say they're sort of grotesque, also very, very subtle. They did it to real. Did they? And, and the entire plot was not understanding a traffic law movie. That was the plot. They picked out 7th and Broadway, Los Angeles, and then put a cop like Ed Kennedy out there in those days in the middle of the street where the cop says, just turn this way, and turns around this way, and stand alone in the first place, and, and he says, says, he wants to see us. So they both got out of the car and they came down to him. He says, what, what, what do you want? He says, what I want, what I want, what I want. Whose car is that? He says, well, it's our car. He says, we'll get in it. <laughs> All right, so they go back into the car. No more just back. He says, no, just wait, just wait. Then they back up a little bit. Uh, you go through. All right, come on, come on. Well, the minute he did that, they come back. Is the <laughs> well, now traffic keeps piling up worse, see? So every time the guy did that, the guy in the car says, yes. That's all there was to the plot. This is a two real picture. No. That's all they ever needed was something like that. No. Are you all ready for your ducks? All right. Yeah. Ducks? Whee! Dun, da, 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 da. Buster wanted a wild duck dinner written into his contract. The assistant cameraman came through for him. I'm saying, oh, sir, you shouldn't have. My God, he did. He got him we in the head. There was no buckshot in the body at all. He got him in the head. That duck's worth five bucks a pound. <laughs> you want to the season? Oh, that green blue? Well, he won't get to Florida this year. Oh, <laughs> oh and he always liked Florida. Well, I got to go wars now. Keaton always claimed he got his best ideas in the bathroom. There is no place for the formal story conference in the grand Keaton tradition. <laughs> the hero of the day now. Gags are improvised en route. And the duck has given somebody the idea for one. <laughs>